Special thanks to CarParkKings.com for their proud sponsorship of In the Fast Lane. You can find out more about their great products by visiting www.CarParkKings.com. And don't forget, during checkout, type in In the Fast Lane 5 for a 5% discount on your entire order. Hey guys, In the Fast Lane here. In this video, we're going to be changing out a window regulator for a 96 Honda Civic. This applies to 96 to 2000. And uh, if you're looking for parts, go to www.carparkings.com. I'll have a link underneath the video so you can purchase this product. If you need to know how to remove this panel, at the end of this video, I'll have a video removing the panel. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the power switch control unit and we're going to plug it back in. We're going to put the key in the ignition and we need to go ahead and drop the window down about here where we can get access to the bolts on the window and the regulator. So we're going to drop it down. And right here, and then we have another hole right here. There we go. So you can put your extension in here and here. So right here you have a 10 millimeter. And then over here there's another 10 millimeter. Now be careful. You don't want to drop the glass down on the bottom, so gently let it fall down. So I'm going to first take that side off, and then I'll come over here and take this one off. Here's the 10 millimeter bolt you need to remove over on the left side. And then if you come down over here, if you look down in this hole, there's another 10. That's why you got to bring the window down so you can get access to it. Now one little tip is when you back this 10 millimeter bolt out, only back it out halfway. Don't take it out completely and we need to slide it this way so it comes out the hole. Do that with both of them. Just slide the regulator forward. And the window is going to slowly go down. So just let the window grab it up top and just let the window touch the bottom. Now what I like to do to get the window away from the regulator is I'm going to pull it all the way up in the track kind of jam it up there and put some tape on it. Okay, so you got the window all the way up. Just get some tape. Tape the outside. And just leave it like that so the window doesn't fall back down because you don't want it smashing your fingers when you're over here working. Okay, so to take out the bolts, we got to take out this 11 millimeter, this 10, and one, two, three, four tens. And then the whole window regulator unit should come right out. Now that we have all those bolts out, we have to unplug it from the power cord. So it's going to be this guy right here. And we go unplug it. And then there's going to be like a little grommet right here. All right. Okay, we got that grommet out. And we're going to shove this wire down through here so we can take the unit out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold these together, just like this, and pull the whole unit out, just like that. Here's the brand new unit from CarParkKings.com. It comes with the motor and the regulator, all in one assembly. And if we take the two units and put them together, you can already see what the problem is. On this old unit, it's really bowed out a lot more on this one than it is on this one. And that obviously was a pressure point where the motor or the window got locked up in the guides and the motor kind of overpowered it and bent this frame. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it up just like this. See how it opens up? You've got the flat side here and you're going to see the spring. So we're going to take this whole unit and we're going to gently slide it through here. And this piece right here, this is what comes up right on over here. That's the piece we just took out. So, slide it in, bring your hand over to the speaker. And what I like to do is I at least like to get this guy started. And I'll get it started on these two. Apparently, someone had already messed with this vehicle and they had the original bolt there, but it actually goes right here. And it allows you to slide it. So go ahead, disconnect Undo this bolt 
and it'll allow you to get these tracks in a lot easier. So I got mine in and you come up under here and you kind of pull it down to where you need it. And then we put it right back in. So that's what happens sometimes when someone else that doesn't do a job right puts things back together wrong. Now that that's done, we got to pick the whole unit up and get it in these holes right here. So let's go ahead and lift up. And you'll be able to see where it lines up. Just got to find the bracket. And there's one right there, so we're going to get one bolt in there. Just get it started. The next step is to fish out the power cord. So we're just going to kind of look through here and we're going to pull it right through this section, right where the original one was. And what, one thing that's nice about carparkings.com is they already have the grommets on it. So you can just rip the old one out and the clips come with the new one. So you just pretty much go like this, pop it right in this little hole right here and then come down here and clip it on there. Now I gotta take this one out because it actually comes with a whole new clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this grommet out. Plug it in first and then push it through the hole. To make things easier, I'm gonna take out this guy right here. I'm gonna loosen this bolt, completely take it out. And I'm gonna slide it back a little bit so that I can work the window onto this part over here on the track. Now here comes the tricky part. The window that's taped up at the top, you gotta to keep it in track, slowly slide it down, and we have to put it through those holes on the regulator. So we're gonna slowly slide it down. And you're gonna hold it towards that way as you're coming down. And you want to get your hand under the speaker part because that's where it always falls down first. So now we got it here. We're going to pull the track a little bit and slide it over these holes. And we got to do the same thing over here. Now that we got the track in, we got it tightened down on the window. We want to make sure that we adjust this window properly. And how to do this is you have the bolt right here for this guide track right here. And once you get the window, then you're going to pull it forward. You're going to Leave this loose a little bit, and leave this one loose a little bit. And then you're going to go all the way up, we'll just drop it down for demonstration. So these are loose, this 11 and this 10. And you're going to go all the way up, and once it locks in completely, you're going to go ahead and tighten this one, and tighten this one. Then you're going to come back down one more time, and watch the window. As you can see how the window's going up nice and smooth. Make sure you check all the track on the inside and the outside and make sure your window's not pinching the rubber or else you'll have another uh, derailed window. And lastly, what I like to do is I like to spray it with some silicone. So make sure you check all around here. It's not pinching it. Get inside the door and follow this track all the way down and make sure your window's all the way in and all the way in there. Now on this guide, try not to pull it too far forward or else it'll slow the window down and prematurely burn out your motor if it's got too much friction. So I like to take this heavy duty silicone spray, CRC you can get it at Walmart, and I like to spray it down in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the window down. And I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to blast it really good all the way down. And don't be generous. Go ahead and give it quite a bit. It's not going to stain anything. It doesn't really have too much of a smell like WD-40. And it's a silicone. And what it does is it coats this rubber. Now, if you just spray WD-40 on here, after it rained and that, it would wash off. But this, this is a silicone and it, it kind of pretty much stays on. So in a minute, you'll see this window going up even faster. You 
want to keep working it back and forth. Kind of blast it on the window too. And that's pretty much it. I don't know when's the last time you've seen a Honda Civic window go up that quick. Special thanks to Car Park Kings for sending out these parts. So that's all there is to it. Now at the end of the video, like I said earlier, I have the whole teardown and reassembly of this panel and the electronics. So go ahead at the end and click on it if you need to know how to do that.